Good evening, Trinidad and Tobago. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers who don't know their fathers. Happy Father's Day to all the mothers doing double duty as fathers. Happy Father's Day to all the shit snake fathers who are not fathers. Still, you should know. Happy Father's Day, all the same. The name of this video is This Is Not A G Thing. And we're very clear, especially to the church people and to the people with sensibilities that are easily disturbed, this is not a video for you. If you get upset by words, but not by reality, take this opportunity to switch this video off now. If you think, looking at me, that I'm fighting for your vote or for a public office and that I'm going to couch my words in ways that fool you, switch this video off now. If you're a sycophant or a justifier, a rationalizer, someone who can find an excuse for wrongdoing in any way, switch this video off. This is not going to be kind. This is not going to be easy. Tonight, we're going to call a spade a spade. Please, share the video. <laughs> sensibilities are more important than reality, switch off this video. You don't give a shit about people suffering in Trinidad and Tobago but want to pretend that we're living in La La Land, switch off this video. It is not going to be kind. 
some walking about, we talked to hundreds of people, we had a massive public meeting in Belmont East last night. To the bank managers, you are the bank managers who are doing the work in, in Nuremberg trials after World War II. They did not allow Nazi generals to say they were only taking orders. At some point, at some point, your humanity overrides your responsibility to even yourself. Compassion and human empathy determines, dictates that you say to yourself and the four winds, I cannot be a party to this. Humanity is greater. Your responsibility to the greater good is more important than your perceived notion of self-protection. You are isolating yourself from the rest of Trinidadians and Tobagoians and you are allowing people to turn the screws and destroy lives. It is no longer enough to say that you are doing your job. To the people who vote race in Trinidad and Tobago, it is no longer enough to tell anybody that mommy and papi used to do this and this is all I know. You know better. I tell you, you know better. So to you, to you, it is no longer enough. To the people who vote race because they're racial, understand, even that can help you. To the people who think their religion takes them above everybody else's religion, it is no longer acceptable for you to be that silly and that stupid in 2018. You have in your hands, I assume, you are watching me on a device that has more computing power than the entire world had when we put a man on the moon and built an atomic bomb that decimated Nagasaki and Hiroshima. You can do better. You should do better. The obligation is on you to do better. It is no longer acceptable for you to say that you don't know better. I am assuming that you do. Stuart Young, I'll start with you, you asshole. This is where it stops being a G thing. Stuart Young, you're a pencil dick, jumped up shyster, shit hung lawyer, worst member of parliament in a country of shit hung members of parliament. The people of Cascade and St. Anne's are calling me, you little shit snake. You little jump up stunting asshole who spent more money wrapping a building around the savannah than you were legally allowed to by the EBC law. And you and the EBC broke the law. I wrote both. The DPP didn't step in. We live in a criminal country and I have to accept that. No problem. You have to accept the night's George Young that you're an asshole that you, you swore as a member of parliament to do right by all manner of persons without malice or ill will and the people in your constituency still have no water you asshole Stuart Young 
This is not a G thing tonight. To the people who are sending me pictures of jackass keep around me, asleep in the mosque, stop. Whether he's sleeping in the mosque, in the temple, in the church. If you see Keith Rowley with his pants around his ankles, sodomizing a cow in a field, and you take a picture, don't send it to me. If you see Keith Rowley with one of his little girlettes doing whatever it is they do, and you get a picture or a video, don't send it to me. You voted for a pig in a suit. You're expecting something other than pig behavior. To the people who think that you could put lipstick and pearls on a pig and end up with something other than a pig, how are you surprised that Keith Rowley turned out to be a jackass and a pig? This is all he was. This is all he's ever been. His wife, Sharon Rowley, walks around in society, that cocky eye asshole, Walking wrong in society, I show her eyes used to look straight ahead before she married that jackass. Sharon Rowley walking around in civil society, pretending that she normal and that her husband is horning she and bullying everything on legs. And we know that to be a fact because Sharon Rowley has to be acknowledging outside children by the day. So she know and she know we know. In a country where a member where a member of parliament swore an oath on every legal document he signed when it asked how many children you have, and he wrote two, and after winning the election, presented two fully grown men to the nation and said these two are also my children, so it's really four. He lied on every single one of those documents. And some of those documents, by lying on it, he committed a crime. But this is not a real country. But he's a jackass. And this brings me to my good friend, Simon de Nobrega. Sayo, husband of... Which one are the... Which one are the... Um, the Freitas Games? Nicole de Nobrega. Simon de Nobrega, owner of Hog and Whistle on Arapita Avenue. Simon de Nobrega. You're bad talking me in the Diego Martin Regional Corporation because I said you're an asshole. I want you not to know, Simon, why you're an asshole. Because you took an appointment in a PNM government and you're willing to lie and stunt and defend the PNM, what you used to be eviscerating the Indian and them for. You're a stink mouth, dirty, deceitful, hypocritical son of a bitch. And you need to know that your little red boy squad that you're following around for your whole life doesn't make you something better than you are. All you are is an opportunistic asshole willing to sell other people down the river so that you can benefit. You are no different to the little Indian and them you used to battle when Kamala was in office. This brings me to Terence Dial Singh, former medical sales rep for the 1% put him in office to sanitize the corrupt orders and deliveries that goes to the medical public health sector that is killing people in Trinidad and Tobago. Killing them. So if, you're, if you need to sue me, let your lawyers be clear that I am saying public health in Trinidad is killing our people. Can I prove it? No. I am not the coroner. I am not in charge. I am not yet the prime minister. But I promise you and any lawyer and any judge who has to read this case, that should I ever be Terence Fialsing, you will be the first Minister of Health jailed in this country because you, you little stunting ignorant jackass, you little closet homosexual poser, you asshole for hire, don't care that our public sector is killing people. You don't care. As long as you could drive around with your hair gray like a donkey ass, pretending you're a young boy. That is where you went in there for. And put your hand on whichever the holy books you lie to, Terence the Alsing, while the ambulance service and public health runs a mock in this country, draining the treasury, allowing people to die. Where do we go? Where do we go, Trinidad and Tobago? 
Belmont East. We were in Belmont East last night. If you live in Belmont, anywhere in Belmont, and you're not ready to spit on the PNL, you're an asshole. I want to tell you, I love you. I want to massage your ears, rub the back of your head, and tell you it's not your fault. Life was hard to your ancestors. I also want to tell you, you're an asshole. You cannot continue to vote your abuser into office. It is no white man or Syrian man or 1% that has you over the barrel mounting you without grace. It is the PNM, your government that you voted into office. Regardless of the flavor and the color of the financier using them as sock puppets that has nothing to do with you because when you are presented with an opportunity to protect yourself and defend your family, you choose, you choose by your either your vote or your failure to vote out the PNL. You choose the condition that Belmont is in. Belmont is as it is now because Belmont people allow it to be so. And on the 16th of July, Felicia Holder, who has overcome more in her life than most people will ever dream of, because I watched that girl treat her handicap as if it is no handicap at all. It is ridiculous. And I watch fully grown men and women, fully formed, all four limbs, living lives of assholes, drunk, making a mess, hoping for a CPEP on a URP, wouldn't get out of the way, wouldn't spend five cents to make a hands dance. Some of the assholes that wants to come on Facebook and tell you, oh God, they didn't get, they get 100 this time. Why didn't get 200? But not one of those sons of bitches outside there looking to do anything to help anybody. But let them go in the hospital and the child there or the mother there or the ambulance don't come or the police lock them up wrongfully or they find out that it's a soul, they kill the cousin. And all this bullshit you just have to hear. Let them find that out. They want to come and find me and say, oh God, Philip, boy, you was always right. If I had a dollar for every person who said, boy, you always right. And if I wasn't so scared of stand up in public with a million people in the Savannah, all your Trinidadians full of shit, all your Trinidadians ending up with little stunting jackasses like Inshan Ishmael and Stark, I will never let, I'm telling you, right now I see Wayne Sturge taking apart Marcia Brave Boy. Wayne Sturge is UNC, Marcia Brave Boy is UNC. I'm telling you, at some point, all going to turn on each other, you know. Kamala Prasad is a true whichever her sock puppets sending a little bit of money for this little jackass sufferer stag to attack me. Because Kamala, in her wildest dreams, couldn't have a debate with me. She couldn't send her AG, her former housing minister, her little jackass, whatever Vasant was. Because every time Vasant stands up to me on social media, I slap him down and send him in his little hole with, with Davy Budu Singh and, and, and Stacey Rupnarain and Stephen Cadiz. Listen, not one of these jackasses who are willing to pay people to attack me have the balls, belly or backbone to stand up to me in public and say what they want to say. I will say what I have to say, you son of a bitch. Vasant Marat. You waste of human time. You are everything that is wrong with politics. You, Pandey's last defender, when Kamala beat his ass, jump over and get a walk till the UNC Alex and you come out about talk the same Kamala who put food on your plate. You do nothing to get her in office. You reach after your stunting jackass, but she look for what she get. Because she only know how to deal with assholes. She only know how to, pe to deal with people who know how to eat her food. And at some point, Vasant Bharat, we will pierce all the different ways you've hidden. Those two purchases you made, one from Polony and one from Mittal in Shorelands and, West and Goodwood Park, millions of dollars. You will tell the nation how you earn that money to buy those two houses and be spending $50 million in real estate at one time. Vasant Bharat. And was one of those properties bought with Calco checks? Was one of those properties bought with, Cal with three Calco checks? Vasant? Trinidad and Tobago. You're playing PNM UNC politics. 
They ever won? We play in this game 56 years now. 30 for certain. 30 for certain. Manning, Pandey, Manning, Kamala, Rowley. Playing that 30 years now. You ever win? What do you consider a win? You used to have a canal outside your gate. Now you have a pavement. You win. 30 years you get a pavement. You win. Tell me now. Because to the lady in the grocery today, who told me, this is a woman who's talking to the person in front of her, that she's about to leave her position, retirement, after 32 years. You're talking retirement, it's being planned, so obviously you have a big position. And you're telling me after that politics can't fix Trinidad and Tobago is only God. And it's only God to fix it. Critical thinking. Let me show you how critical thinking works. If it's only God to fix it in the future, then you say God didn't care about none of the people who died for the past 30 years. What kind of God is that lady? Because I have to tell you, the reason Trinidad is as it is, is Trinidadians are too lazy, too stupid, too corrupt, and too racist to fix their own country. And that the people who vote are full of shit every time they vote PNM and UNC. Because every time they vote PNM and UNC, Alan Karim, who sits in a wheelchair, operating fake profiles for the UNC, Alan Karim's life has never improved, <coughs> will never improve. They've never done anything of substance for him. But as long as he could talk Indian talk till he dead, Alan Karim, okay. How is it for him? And then they have a bunch of people, fully educated people, Professionals following that jackass. Alan Karim sits in a room surrounded by the garbage of what he ate for the past week. Alan Karim talking on Facebook only, trying to misdirect people, playing race politics, PNM and UNC. And intelligent people being guided by that. Marcia Brave Boy, a former journalist from Grenada, has gone fully insane believes that she's hidden in a safe house. Somebody from the UNC is funding her still and she believes that she is in a safe house somewhere and that Colm and Bert and Philip Alexander hear that association eh? Colm, if Colm crossing the road and he see me driving, he start to run one time. But she think Colm and I work in Obe to send spirit to Lashi. Massive brain boy. But to see Wayne Sturge pull out today, Nizzle Stunting Jackass, Neville Cowlesser Jr., who gone Canada to live, Neville Cowlesser Jr., who can't do nothing for nobody, won't do anything for anybody, won't send $5 to help anybody in Trinidad and Tobago, has more opinions than everybody on everything, but he's not in Trinidad. Those who care about Trinidad just lets his ego run away with him when he thinks that he could disrespect people who are actually standing up for country. And we who are trying to do this are restrained by the people looking on that we can't say, you little piece of shit. You little asshole Neville Cowlesser Jr. People like you are the reason why we are how we are. You did not try. You still won't try. And instead of contributing to help the people who are willing to try, you're making a mess for them. And nobody's paying you. That's the sad part about you. Nobody claims you. You're like Herbert Volney. Herbert Volney all over the place cussing people. He have a disastrous record as a high court judge. Or if you, if you had a real government, somebody would have investigated that son of a bitch, but it might have bring the whole court system into disrepute. And an even worse track record as a member of parliament and a former minister publicly admitted that he perverted the course of parliament and used the parliament to write a law to free financiers, the living definition of misbehavior in public office. But the director of public prosecutions, they hear that. The commissioner of police, they hear that. All of a sudden, it is okay for you to use the parliament to write a law to free people wanted for crime. That the same director of public prosecutions has spent at least a hundred million dollars trying to prosecute. Is this a real country? Herbert Volney, nobody claims him. Nobody wants him. You can't touch him. 
the only person that stopped briefly to look into and see what he had in those barrels on his front lawn was Suzette Lauer, who I call the selfie queen, because that's all she brings to the table. Copy and paste other people's positions on public matters, and when nobody's taking her on, takes a selfie every morning. I am that upset with Suzette Lauer, who spent a minute in my progressive empowerment party to get herself some public attention to then go and sell it for the next person for hire. Suzette Lauer, who threatened to tell the financiers with whom I am in court and fellas like Howard Chinley and take my business, Suzette, you go ahead, hon, because I want to put your business in the road too. Hugging up Michaela Pandey, but you just cuss her father. You cuss her father and the UNC, and you say that neither party could rescue Trinidad and Tobago, but bad mind and spite burning you, so you had to find something to use, eh? Yeah. This is not a G thing. We have a country so badly broken that if I did not have compassion for poor and weak and dispossessed people, I go on long time. Long time. I need to know. I need to fail. I don't really want to succeed. I need to fail. But I need to put my all so that when I leave, if I have to leave, I could say, Phil, you try. You put your all. There was nothing left. You hear my voice? Neville Kaulessa Jr. You will never even let yourself get hoarse for your country. Last night when the Progressive Empowerment Party went to stand up in Piggott's Corner, despite all the talk we get from PNM telling us, PNM talking heads that sent to say, if all you go pick up's corner, they go kill Philip Alexander. All you can't come day. Guess where I went yesterday? Mano, mano. Philip on a bulletproof vest. No. They sent bodyguards for me. That bodyguards follow me around in Belmont. Philip on a bulletproof vest. No. Where we went? All you go and wake Rowley up. He's sleeping in the corner in the mosque. Tell him. Philip Alexander and the Progressive Empowerment Party went in Bigot's corner and call you out, you son of a bitch, on your track record. To all the stunted artists, I see Gerald Abood just joined the thing here. Gerald Abood, if you're not joining the political conversation somewhere and helping some party with money to fight the madness of the PNM and the UNC, stop publishing your opinions on Facebook because I wouldn't be able to defend you for much longer. But you need to help because the country going down the hole and sterile drugs wouldn't survive on its own. Trinidad in a cesspool. We are third world shithole. People are posting advertisement videos of the firepower they have because the jackasses in government either do not know how to run the country or are complicit and are involved with criminal enterprise that leaves Trinidad at the mercy and the mayhem that is about to beset it. When the Canadian Parliament discussed this country, it embarrassed us. When the British Parliament said that we are still a banana republic, that they've been trying to help our legal profession and our courts deal with one matter over a decade, and it can't move, it's stuck. It seems stuck, Mr. Speaker, but we're there and we're trying. It was embarrassing to listen to the Trump administration Congress ratifying the new ambassador that you're to be and telling him you're going down there to clean up them gangs. Eh? You're going up there. Forget Rowley. They have a jackass as a prime minister. Forget Kamala. They have a drunk as an opposition leader. Forget Bastio Pan. They have a dunnering idiot who have his daughter, the last person he could get to sit down by his lap and listen to him talk his bullshit. Michaela is the last person willing to stand up and pretend Baz know what the hell he talking about but Baz use the whole parasitic oligarchy bullshit right Indian people sugar cane cutters back so he can get into office and line with white people and play golf that jackass Bas Leo Pandey the country don't have a government they tell the new ambassador the opposition leaders are jackass her entire band what she left with Kamala left with us a B team. A B team. The people who couldn't get a position before. Nobody else wants to come. Nobody else wants to work with Kamala. 
None. And they have nobody else in that mad bunch to lead that party. You ain't see dead. You ain't see dead. They know they're there. They're so dead. They're telling people, Pep going and split the votes. A 17 month old party could split your vote. How you own that vote? How you come to own that vote? Forget that. If you own that vote, if I could take your wife, that ain't your wife. If I could take your vote, that wasn't your vote. So stop the bullshit. And I'm telling Trinidadians, is that split the vote bullshit? To the people who are afraid to split the vote, don't vote you and say. That is a vote for nothing. That is a vote for five day weekends and helicopter romps. Don't vote for that. The United States of America told the in incoming ambassador, you're going down to a country where crime is rampant and out of control. A nation that is the largest exporter of ISIS terrorists in the world. Trinidad and Tobago. All they proud jackasses coming on my thread saying America want we oil. America want we oil. America have more oil in one square mile of Alaska than we have. America want we oil. America don't need we as a jumping off position to go Venezuela. Stop talking bullshit. They have, they have countries all around Venezuela, including Guyana, that open in the arms and saying, come bring the Yankee dollar. When America set up a base, it's hundreds of millions of US dollars coming into your country. So all they feel that America doing that, a thief, you know, they go, think, nah, man. Think, all America want is we to fix the shit. It's like when you tell your neighbor, Oh shit man, your dog barking, your pump going off every five minutes, your air condition rattling and your dog and, and mango falling in my yard. Come on man, fix your shit. America want we to stop sending cocaine to America. That's what they want. They want we to stop sending ISIS fighters because you see Trump, Trump not on shit. I keep telling all of that. Eh? That son of a bitch, he ain't here on kicks. Eh? He don't care about B, dear. One percent, you could say we well, one. He orange till he blue, he grab him pussy, all kind of thing. But he end the Korean War. He ended twice. He ended first, and Soros and the one percent went and chain up Kim Jong again. I don't know what Donald tell him, but I'm sure it sounded something like, fucker, we will erase you, you know. Because all of a sudden, 50 years of Korean War, over. All of a sudden, Saudi Arabia, the main finance channel for Al-Qaeda and ISIS say, hold up, we done. We are playing that game. Because they know that orange pussy grabber will wipe Saudi Arabia off the planet map. They know that clear as a bell. Because that's the right asshole. Which brings me to this. You have a country that is overrun with assholes. The vast majority of successful, wealthy business people in this country have gotten their money illegally, immorally, unethically, or a combination of all three. There is nothing in the Chamber of Commerce to feel proud of. The largest commercial wholesale bakery in the Caribbean is proud that they are breaking the law of the land successfully, driving small bakeries out of business illegally. And nobody in the Chamber of Commerce, nobody from Tom Danyuk to Dominic Hadid from Blue Waters, not one of them will stand up and say, hey, we're out of Lockjack, out of Lockjack for all he talk. They name in school after Lockjack. Lockjack, how come you can't stand up and sit up on your days and them, hey, all you're making me, all you're exposing with shit, all you're showing people we full of shit, the business community in this country is a band of shit snakes masquerading behind some labels stand up and tell them but they have nothing in the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Commerce and Trinidad and Tobago Manufacturers Association of which you can be proud and that's your business community our lawyers, the Law Association of Trinidad and Tobago is the most politically obscene group of people in this country we have professional lawyers who are criminals wearing silk we have lawyers in this country that are criminals for hire willing to drive the getaway car we have chartered international accounting firms that are criminal enterprises. We heard that the price, it was price Waterhouse Coopers colluded, colluded with men who was making $100,000 a month salary as the accounting committee for Clico and CL Financial. 
the accountants who's publishing pure fabrication, bullshit, lies at Dupre's behest. And then we're stamping, signing, and passing it on to fool the people of the country. Big shot, big men. Some of them sitting down all wrong parliament and senate now. And that's your country. Our professional class is madness. Our business class is madness. There is not one politician in the PNM and the UNC. If you could think of one, write their name. If you could think of one right now, write their name. Defend it. Tell me a politician. Because let me tell you, I'm saying this clear. No public office holder of any kind. I will ever defend. And I have heard things about friends of mine who I thought were friends of mine that get away with real bullshit. And I'm saying this to them because I want them to hear me. If ever I get public office, do not think that you can rely on our friendship. This is a country that has been advantaged from within. You, the voter, tell you this. You live in a country that has a, that has a coast guard that does nothing. Nothing to secure a nation beset by criminal contraband smuggling, illegal guns, human trafficking, and cocaine. We import into Trinidad and Tobago millions of US dollars that are sanitized through government contracts and fake businesses. It's called money laundering. We've created a financial intelligence unit whose job it is to stop Small men depositing $5,000 in the bank account without a letter and a picture. But a minister, Camille Robinson Regis, could walk in with $130,000 in a brown bag and the can't stop she. Can't stop she. This is Johanna Bego. We have a Coast Guard that does nothing. Our country is porous. Try it. Paint a basketball or a football orange. Jump in a pirog. Drive to Venezuela. Bounce the pirog three times. Film yourself and drive back. Drive up the Carony. Drive up any river you want. Drive into Tobago. Come off your pirog in Tobago. Book yourself on the whichever one of the jackass boats bringing you to Trinidad with your orange ball. And see who stop you. And ask you what is that orange ball about. See. See at any point. That orange ball could be anything. It signifies. And I wanted to do it. It's just for time. Today I wanted to go and film standing up across from Assumption Church in Maribel. An actual wooden lamppost that is cracked and broken at the base that TNT strapped to another lamppost rather than take it down. How long it's strapped there? This is not a real country. But I want to tell you something. Your Coast Guard will work. The government, the opposition, the head of the police complaints authority all agree that the police service is infected with criminal elements. But not one of them have come up with a plan as to how to fix it. We have interviewed, we have given KPMG millions of Trinidad and Tobago dollars sole select to read resumes and write points. Three questions. Millions of dollars. Who your partner? PNN. No problem, take some money. It's like when UNC all organized Nip Deck to fix up the partner with Tom Naktai. Apsara. Take 41 million amount. It's like when Faris, PNL, organized himself. Chumane, one Alexandra place. Take a couple hundred million amount. No problem. Kamla and Gopal and both of them and Ramna and Kalko and SIS and Junior Sami and Kusa and whoever is your friend. And whoever is your family, take the man. We ain't need it. Chin is stupid. They may know. I'm going to answer a man tonight. You tell me my crowd was small in Belmont. A tight. Do you know when the PNM and the UNC and the friends and the financiers behind them steal money from trying to be able to steal from you too? I typed it and I erased it. Because if the jackass doesn't already know, and all he thinks that he brings to the political conversation, is to attack people who are willing to stand up in this criminal enterprise where for chicken and chips and at and a twenty dollars people could lose their lives willing to stand up and fight for his own jack and self can't convince me but I am the right asshole and I told them that in Belmont put me in government 
make me prime minister. It will be the first time in the history of this country the money in the treasury without an oil boom go back up. Because Philip Edward Alexander commits to you. I commit to me. I don't care about what you think. I commit to me to use the resources of state to go after every one of those criminal public office holders and their friends, all them fancy car stunt drivers who have their wives draped in most expensive jewelry, billet houses leapfrogging one another up and up and up Goodwood Park Hill, are going to go after all of them and we will spend the rest of eternity in court dealing with the matter until they give this country back every single cent plus cost. And I will not stop. And one of my partners, Rudy Paul, tell me Cheney for you to hear that. All your week up, eh? It's three trillion dollars they go on with it. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if it's China, China will give you back with money. If it's Austal in Australia, Austal will give you back with money. If, if wherever we have to go, the government of Canada, I want to go and sit with Justin Trudeau and show him how, how Johnny O take with money. And come and build this, these skyscrapers. Them skyscrapers is training money. And we want it back. Every last cent. I want, to, I want to tell you something. The 1%. The people who consider themselves 1%. Who know the bullshit they're in. They afraid me bad. They want to buy me. Or they want to stop me. And I'm telling you. I know. Because we're moving in the same circles. We have the same relatives. We have a lot of the same friends. So you just talk your shit. And your shit has come to me. But like I show Rowley last night, stand up in big old corner. I is more man than you, brother. Anytime you're ready, the die has been cast. We've thrown down the Rubicon. We're ready for you now. Let's go Balize House and debate. Put it on Sabgan News Network and Massey Media, one-on-one. -on -one. Mano a mano. Come keep Rowley. And you know what? You Faris and Stuart Young could tag team. I would tie both hands behind me, both hands behind my back and stand up on one leg. And you could put Fitzgerald Hines in the audience to heckle me and I will still cut your stunting ass because you all have nothing of value to bring to the table. Not one of you. Not one of you. It is time now. We are running out of ways to wake you up. And it is time now. You live in a country where there are organized terrorist training organizations. There are, there are organizations in this country that are getting away with organizing organized crime, massive murder. 30,000 illegal guns, your prime minister say. Here, take one off the street. Here, come up with one single plan. Here, come up with an idea to close the border. And you still have that jackass as your prime minister. And black people getting killed in the street. And the cousin and the relative and the friend still finding a way to defend it. Still. But this is not a G thing anymore. Bali, Balize House is the center of the cancer. We have to end the political malaise that has destroyed this country or it will die. There is no long-term plan. Venezuela will survive forever. Venezuela has been along, around a lot longer and at some point Venezuela will recover. But Trinidad can't. Trinidad won't. Trinidad is too small. When Trinidad collapses, the small handful of educated middle class will leave. It will leave a vast mass of poverty that will not be able to educate its children. So we will devolve and we will make even worse choices until somebody pass up and colonize us again. The realities that face us are stark and frightening, scary. So when I told Kim Cool that she was full of shit and a whole black caucus, black agenda nonsense, don't help nobody, and trying to come on TV with false flag money and fake tits and want to play you attacking me, miss me with that bullshit. And when I told Star he's a sufferer for hire, I will never unsay that. And at some point, that little son of a bitch, Star Grimes, will apologize to me for the things that he is saying about me. Because if he doesn't, I know, I see where he's going. 
and he, he had no effort to go. People like UNC and PNM, like Kiss Baking Company. When Kiss Baking Company finished, closed down, all them small bakery, all them sufferer who selling bread on the side of the road, they don't need you no more. Walk down. Fix your business. Same thing for staff. Ask, they have plenty of people I could send staff to talk to. Go and meet Marcia Brave Boy. See why she gone man. People like them end up killing themselves. Nayan Bastille, what I said about me, Philip, son, you are irrelevant. Do not write on my wall. I just unblocked you. If you would like to be blocked for good, speak again. Trinidad and Tobago, our reality is that our responsibility is now. We have one shot. I am telling you. I am telling you. We have one shot. No more. Not one more. We have this, and this is it. The Progressive Empowerment Party is built by people who are putting everything on the line. Everything. There is no more. There is none other. Look around. Congress of the People, MSJ, ILP, AOI, Pact, Michaela and Suzette, then Herbert Valerie. Not one of them are standing up for you. All of them are stunting and posing, hoping that the UNC and the PNM, when they're looking to make up numbers, will snatch them and give them a little something. That's what's happening. There's only one independent political organization in this country, completely disconnected from the 1% and the parasitic oligarchy, and that is the Progressive Empowerment Party. And you may not like how I say what I say, but this is not church time. This is time for us to get real and face reality. I know, I know well what I do. I am a critical thinker and a problem solver. I am not the kind of person to lie to you with convenient half-truths. I am here to tell this nation that we are alive in evil times, that your prime minister and your opposition leader doesn't give a shit about anybody in this country. Because if they did, if Kamala cared, if Bastille Pande cared, if Keith Rowley cared, if Stuart Young cared, if Manning cared, Cascade and St. Anne's would have water tonight. Tonight. We've spent the money a thousand times over. Ganga Singh, that stunting jackass, make himself a hundred millionaire. Water for all. Laying pipe in all their ass. He does good laugh at all you. Good laugh at all you. If there's one thing them UNC does do, is laugh at Trinidad. The 1%, the 1% too. There are names for all you know. There are names for all you when they're referring to you all. And I'll tell all you that one of these days, you know. All of all you are Syrian partner and 1% partner. I ask them, what's the special names they have for all you when they're referring to you? Listen to what it means. And it traces its roots from slavery. There are people in this country that believe the black man was born for labor and consumption and they have no difference between an African and an Indian. That's what they believe. There are people in this country who believe that. And we cannot continue to survive as a nation where the masses are deliberately undereducated, marginalized, and set on each other. The only way to fix Trinidad and Tobago is to end the race war. End it. We pretend we don't have a race war, but we have a political race war. And until we fix that, until we fix that, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs>
when we told Trinidad and Tobago that instead of spending $9 billion on a housing development corporation to disrobe young ladies and make young men dance and do somersaults to get a overpriced house for a bigger... <laughs> Listen, we say give everybody the chance to own a home up to $1.5 million. PNM and UNC say it impossible. I put out a video showing a house under construction. It costs less than $100,000 to live. They're going quiet. The message is where you'll get the money from. And get the money from, we will save it on HDC and we will save it on social development and law enforcement. In those three, we spend $20 billion a year. And if we could save half of that, we could provide houses for 100,000 people. The truth of the matter is, when you give people a stake in their society, crime drops. When you give people the opportunity to own a home, drug use, homelessness drops. So why aren't we doing it? Is it because we don't care or we don't know? Are we waiting for the PNM and the UNC to jump up and try to copy our reading? Somebody says, why are you going to be competing with the banks? Yes. Absolutely. Hear me clearly. Yes. Up to $1.5 million. Oh, I want to make sure that even minimum wage earners can own a home. I want the banks to compete with me. And if the banks don't like it, they could kiss my half red ass. It is time the people of Trinidad and Tobago enjoy the blessings and the bounty of this land. This is not a handout. This is a hand up. They will pay their mortgage every month. Normal lending criteria apply. But courts, American stores and standards could tell you the reason they, they exist is because poor people just pay their bills. Poor people just pay their bills. Courts just build the biggest during the recession. The biggest furniture warehouse in the Caribbean. They built 40 containers could offload at one time to sell furniture to Trinidadians and Tobagoans. Why? Because they know Trinidadians just pay the bill. Poor people just pay the bill. The little chirp, chirp, all them insurance company, Clico, Clico father, Blueprint father, <clears throat> built that insurance company on small people who was giving him 50 cents a month towards their premium. That, that is who pays the bills. The economy is not held up by the BMW and Mercedes Benz drivers. If it wasn't for the poor masses, the economy collapsed. The poor masses deserve to own a home and the Progressive Empowerment Party guarantees up to $1.5 million once you have a job, zero deposit, zero interest for 30 years. That means on every $100,000 mortgage, your, insure, your premium mortgage payment is $500 a month. $2,250 is the, is the basic minimum wage for a KFC cashier and amalgamated security baton twirler. They could own a home. All of a sudden, they and their children are growing up in a community that they belong to. That no landlord can call them on the phone and say, I changed my mind, you know, my cousin coming from America and they need a place to stay. So I gotta take that place you're in. I can't have Yours. Your own. When you close your eyes for good, you're leaving something for your children. Jump in that. No other political party offering that. And we could spread it out for you and show you how it works and how your payments work. And I promise you something like Trump. You see how Trump, they get tired now compared with the Trump because Trump turned America around. So they're afraid. They don't know how to say it. They think Trump put in children in cages. Erica Mute, I did my research to answer you. That plan started under Obama since 2013. 2013. In fact, Trump trying to turn that mess around and not defending Trump. He's a jackass of a pussy grabber. But this is not that. And I tried to explain to somebody yesterday, Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest footballer who ever lived, despite the fact that he's an asshole. You could be two things. You could be an asshole, have the worst personality, temper tantrums, and get on like a hissy fit, and still be the greatest footballer the world has ever known. Cristiano Ronaldo is that. Donald Trump is undoing, you see, shock doctrine, isolate and rock America to the core. All of them who want to sell gun and ammunition and bombs don't want them water done. Trump done in the wars. In one year. In one year, the Korean War done. And ISIS and Al-Qaeda done. Yeah, he ain't about war. America not on war right now. So all of them who 
involved in trying to sell bomb don't like Trump. So you're gonna sell your bullshit. Don't buy the bullshit. Because America's economy right now is performing at the highest it ever has. And they have more jobs than people. They have more jobs than people right now. And I wanna tell you something. Trinidad and Tobago needs to be like that. The government's main function is supposed to be to focus on providing jobs for the people. Provide jobs, the ability to own a home, proper health care, first world education, and get out the people way. Put water in the tap. So in 2018, people who had to be going by the well in Cedros, dropping a bucket on a rope and pulling it up to go and bathe. This is 2018. We have desalination plants that you can put in your backyard, powered by the sun. This is 2018. Put water in the people's pipe. That you walk government. That is your walk opposition. Don't discuss routine the bullshit parliament. I don't want to hear who, who Daryl Smith sleeping with and who this next jackass, Naparino. What is his name? Who used to carry Kamala bag and she scarf? Who is sleeping with? I don't care about that. Do the work. Put water in the pipes. Make it so that people can own a home. Make it so that people can get a job. Real jobs. Make it so that Subway and KFC and Amalgamated Security and Mario's Pizza have to advertise. We're paying twice minimum wage. Come. Give people choice. Give people hope. Give them opportunity. Chinese will turn this place around. Chinese will become the nicest place in the world to live. But if you, all are all who talking and bad talking poor people and their attitude and their behavior, if you was trying to stretch $10 an hour, trust me, your attitude wouldn't be the best. Christine Hosein just said we need the private sector to create jobs too. Absolutely. And the Progressive Empowerment Party has a proper small business development plan that pairs approved businesses with case workers whose salary is predicated on the performance of the cases they manage. So that your bonus at the end of the year is represented by the success and the performance of all the small business under your purview, make them pay. That's what we need. So when you go to work on a morning and you pick up the phone to call your caseworker and tell it, I know we have an installment and a due, but we have something coming in today that we need to clear, so you make the decision. Let them write the check. That's how you run a country. So yes, the small, the private sector have to match government toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Government have no job being in business. Government's job is to make Trinidad and Tobago open for business to Trinidadians and Tobagonians, regional people and the world. Come and create jobs for my people here so that my people can earn money, save money in banks that pay them interest because the Progressive Empowerment Party government here as well will regulate the financial sector. Do not come on my wall and talk about Ro Morgan and Rothschild and Rockefeller conspiracy bullshit. I don't want to hear it. Philip Edward Alexander, as Prime Minister, will regulate the financial sector and every bank that wants to operate in Trinidad and Tobago will pay depositors interest as per the terms of their operation and license agreement or they will leave. And we will open the economy to other banks to come and join and compete with RBC, Republic and Scotia who get a little stale on the work. They get a little stale, they get a little comfortable. They're not offering the people the service that they need. It's time to put some competition in their ass. So we will regulate the financial sector. So we will have an economy where people could have better than minimum wage, but even minimum wage earners could own a home. We will have a country where jobs are plentiful and abundant, and people have banks paying you interest on your money. We will create that as a regulation, so now the banks have to work that money and put credit into the market, which will, Christine Hosein, fund private sector expansion, because there are a lot of private sector businesses right now tonight do not where they're turning to get credit, to get loans, and to get foreign exchange. And we need to fix that. You can't just talk words. You have to understand how these words work. You have to understand what is required. The government's responsibility is the well-being of the citizens as they function, their purpose, and their reason for being. And these words that I am giving you is what government is supposed to do. Because if the average person could have a proper job where they could own a home and save some money, get water in the pipe so they could stay home and help educate their children, they may have three jobs 
I want she work in three jobs, especially if she's the only person in the home. I want a home with the children. So at the end of the day, when Synergy TV and them telling them brock out and passa passa, she could explain to them what it means. Just like how Westmoreland's children parents could explain what it means. We need to make sure we level the play field, that everybody get the same chances, the same hope, the same opportunity, like a rising tide lifts all boats. I want the children of Beatum, Mova, Lavantel, and Silots to have the same expectations that the children of Sinclair, Westmoreland, Valsane, and Goodwood Park get. Because if we can't twin, Kokorit will palm us. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're pretending. We're not racial, but it just so happened. They don't have us. They only have one type of people living in some of these communities. Check yourself. We reckon ourselves. You want a country that works. Face this reality. And go and ask the party that you support, how come at no time did you consider what a living wage meant? Or that jobs was the responsibility of government? Or the fact that minimum wage earners could own a home in this country and that 24 7 water was not only possible it was your responsibility and it was supposed to be done 30 years ago so you see you do all these things what's your crime plan phil your crime plan is to fix society give people hope and opportunity and rely on them to not choose crime and where they do choose crime we would have cleaned up the police service by involving the New York City Police Department Internal Affairs Unit. We would have cleaned up government and all of the public service using the FBI. We will hire these people for the investigatory skills to suspend and prosecute public office holders and remove them from the system so the legitimate lawful operators of the economy could then do their proper jobs. So all of a sudden my crime plan is this. Give everybody a chance at a job that they could own a home and have a bank account. They may not get the spinning rims next this year, but you will get it next year. And any girl with sense that looking for a man, hear me, girls, stop dating shit homes. Stop dating gangsters. Stop dating criminals. You're encouraging this bullshit. Stop dating gunman. Start a date job man. Start a date men with plan. Who you see walking and they're paying the rent and they're paying the mortgage and they're paying the car payment. Them is the men that you want because they could be around long. They might get in shot dead in the road or jail for life. Women, you all have a say in society at the lowest rung come up. To the women, the one percent, you know yourself. You'll get a chance to say, but I didn't know that is where his money was coming from. You damn well know. You damn well know that little bar on the corner ain't making that money. Don't fool me. Don't fool me. But we're going to deal with that. Let's take a pen. A rising tide raises all boats. The Progressive Empowerment Party wants that rising tide to raise from the bottom of the lowest classes where the crime gestates. The criminal crime, the violent crime, the other crime, the white collar crime, they go leave that for me. I got to deal with them. And I got to deal with that. And we will undo that. But we will stick, as I say, a big pen. They're not coming. They're not coming because they're saying it. Phil, what about the amnesty? Yes. This is the amnesty. The Progressive Empowerment Party comes to government today. You should have a running check of how much money you've illegally enriched yourself with. A couple hundred million, no problem. Round it off, like how Massey stores rounding off the bill now. And write a check. Mass managers check it. Do like box. Write it to the country. The letter that says, this is yours. We are holding it for you. And do that quick. Don't let me have to come and investigate you. Because we will. We will. Because I still believe that the deal that Faris al Rawi and Patrick Manning signed was illegal. And we can't prove it now because we don't have the power of office now. But one Alexandra place, as long as that rent continues to be paid, is a continuous conspiracy. It doesn't end. So we need to know for sure. And for all of them who say, starve we for funds, I showing you, we're doing it without your money. And we're going to do it. As long as we wake up the people of Trinidad and Tobago to what they were always entitled to, you have every reason to be very happy. <laughs>
month last night when I walk on stage with this song playing, I tell them get out your chair. But they let throw down the chair. They want they couldn't believe they was hearing this song live. They couldn't believe they was experiencing that barataria we come in, you know. Barataria, we come in Saturday. We walking about in your community Tuesday. We gonna put we foot on the ground. The Progressive Empowerment Party. We here to save the country. Get involved. Your vote will decide what you want to be. Your vote can protect our country's faith. We want use it well before we too If it is that who you're putting crazy on the dog. Bullshit. Eh? Friday, Friday was the holiday, 
Tuesday we're walking in Barataria. Meet me in Stanmore Avenue. You don't have a position in this party. You don't even matter have an orange jersey. You don't even matter come from Barataria. Come, I want a hundred people walking with me. We have flags to hold. We have drums to beat. We come to liberate a whole country. We start in constituency by constituency, district by district, polling division by polling division. You deserve better. We deserve a better nation. If you want a better Trinidad and Tobago, start now. Tuesday morning, we meet in 19 Stanmore Avenue. Come and march with us. Come and walk in Barataria. Come and send a message to the mocking pretenders that the day of the self-glorification of the illegal finances is over. If it is fabrication, these statements that this power when you're voting for them, for them, if it is a frustration, that's make you want to shout when you're voting for them. family. So if I had to fall out with the whole Pantin family, family tonight, take that and grow up in Clive Pantin yard with Thomas Pantin, my sister and Anna Pantin, not Anna, I know Anna too, but my sister and can't remember the next one, best friends growing up 50 years now. And if I had to lose all of them over this twist mouth son of a bitch, Bernard Pantin, who trying to pull strings to get the government to block the internet because people are streaming in um, from Netflix direct for 10 US a month what he want to charge them $300 a month for he want them to, to shut down the internet listen now all you know what all you're dealing with Bernard Pantin you son of a bitch you try to attach you call it piracy but people prove they paying for their Netflix and they paying for the Amazon so that their piracy, piracy, they're just choosing a provider other than you. They want good service, less gouging for a better price. You don't offer that. So when that fall flat, you went and talk about the revenue that the government losing. Bernard Pantin, you twist mouth son of a bitch. You don't talk about the revenue government losing from men, men, members of parliament, ministers and senators, saving hundreds of thousands on purchasing stunt cars that they're not paying the due Taxes that are due and owing to the state. That has to change. But you wouldn't talk about that, Bernard Pantin, you twist mouth son of a bitch. And I know you has been bad talking me. So let me take this down in public now, brother. Because you know I am the end of that 1% life that you love so well. You come today to talk about that needs to get involved. Because the sanctity of media will threaten the democracy if we can't have our own newsrooms. You twist mouth son of a bitch. You double tongue deceiver. 17 months you watching the media block the progressive empowerment party. The, pre the, the freedom of the press enshrined in the constitution is predicated on the people's right to know. And you've said nothing, you dirty, stinking twist mouth son of a bitch but because your little direct tv franchise losing money you want to come and talk shit bernard panting hey listen direct tv people all your don't finance that son of a bitch end all your service with direct tv now send a message show the power of the citizens show the power of the consumers you want to filter the internet and shut down the internet bernard you twist mouth son of a bitch the people are going to have a final say on that <laughs> Right. 
last chorus is important. I want you to listen to the words that Tyrone Hernandez has enshrined into the Progressive Empowerment Party's anthem. I want you to know it well. Election day is, fifth, is one month away on the 16th of July. I want you to dance into the voting booth. I want you to hum it, sing it. When the police tell you, you can't be singing in here, hold on. You come back out, you can chip in the road. When you're voting, vote them out. I want you to hear what he said. This song, he writes it for you. It is time to save Trinidad and Tobago. Barataria, Belmont East, you have a responsibility. You could put two orange dots on the map that sends the message, change is about to come. If it is that injustice, it's what they always show. When you're voting, vote them out. National anthem boasts here, every creed and race finds an equal place. But as Kurt Allen say, all you get is a whining space because nothing in this country works and all of our people are isolated and left to their own devices. When big shot people have to message me for water and poor people have to message me for security and middle class people messaging me how to get credit, how to get finance, how to get foreign exchange with business closing down. They send a man to sell bread outside my bakery and I have bills to pay and staff to pay and rent to, and lights and... All you know already, the Progressive Empowerment Party is the only government that will fix all of it. The stunting jackass and his band of bandits touring the world, filling their pockets. It is time to send a message now. He, he put God out his thoughts. He called an election and I told him, I said, the minute you call an election, the people cock like my pipi. They're waiting to show you. They're waiting to tell you that this time, no, no longer we're going to put up with the madness that has masqueraded as government, PNM and UNC. We want to tell them, we want to tell them, you go for an election and you go find out to your parents. Tell me what I'm fighting. 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 Come 
constant and post to talk bullshit for people. Tell them how it take three years in office to finish the carnage fish market. You finish everything else before. Tell them the man Kitos, come, let we debate. You bad? You are baddest? You want to pretend you're the biggest stunting jackass in Trinidad? You want to send your little bad talkers to bad talk me? Why not come yourself, Rowley? I tell you I will come by Lizzie house. Bring Faris and your finances. Bring Stuart Young. Bring your tag team. Bring Fitzgerald Hines and his pontificating British accent where he tries to pretend that he's white. Bring all! I come in alone. I want to debate you on national TV. I want to hang you on the petard of the words that you have spoken in the past. You double, double tongue deceiver. You, you deceitful hypocrite. Trinidad and Tobago need to see you exposed and they need to see a real people's champion do it. It's a joke and it's a joker. <laughs> This is the year for change. Tell them this is the year the people get together. Tell them we will make the difference in Trinidad and Tobago. We will wake up the ancestors. We will go and stand up in the cemetery. We will cry tears and say the change I wanted, it is here. We did the work. We've ended the racial bullshit. We've ended the tribal nonsense here. Every kid and race fights are equal. Careful how you living, baby This is not a movie Give your life what you could take it slow This is the land of love. This is the country that the whole world should have to lie and pretend they are. There is nothing else on planet Earth like China and Tobago. We've allowed a bunch of stunters to ruin what was naturally the most blessed paradise on planet Earth. And we could undo it and we could fix it. If before what you needed is a champion, you have a champion now. Tell them you're bad talking him all over the place. Come and talk to him to your face. All right here. Yeah. Waiting on all of them. Take down them fake profile. Come now. Let me talk. Let me talk. Take this before we go. Take this before we go. when the progressive empowerment party get victory just in these two little districts people on all four corners of Trinidad and Tobago from sea to shining sea will take to the street like if we win the whole general election and it's 
two districts we win. But they know when they see it, the pylon will happen and the PNM and the UNC will become irrelevant and the mocking pretenders and the financiers and the oligarchs, they go start packing grip and looking for passport, looking for visa, looking for way to move money because they know change coming and that change, but we don't wait this place. <laughs> racism thing that is what this is that is what we're going and do tuesday morning we continue the mission that we have set for ourselves belmont east received us with beautiful reception people tell we don't go in there boys only criminal living in belmont people in belmont want me to come in their house and drink more me boy listen i don't be doing that to my people eh? people in Trinidad are tell all they're the poor but they're not stupid they see that they have a chance they recognize they want to say Real recognizes real. They see what come in. They understand. They want to tell them, I am black. I ain't Indian. What black and Indian ever do for them before? What voting black and voting Indian ever do for anybody before? What? Besides climb up on their back and piss down on them and tell them it's rain falling. What voting black and Indian ever do for anybody before? Not one ass. And that is the truth. Until you start changing, yes. Sterling, you must be the change. We will go out with your song. Just in the way. In the way it's not. Go out with your song, Sterling. Chiranta Bego. It's time. If you can look as far as I see, within this great land we call T and T. There's birds and bees, rivers and seas. Pretty woman bringing man to the knees. Somebody now message me and ask me, where Maxi Coffee? I ain't know. I think they just sent his junior minister, Marley McDonald, to lie down next to him. It looked like the new 1% CPEP URP is to get sick 
and take treasury money. Maxi get three million that Keith Rowley wasn't wasn't authorized to spend, that Maxi wasn't authorized to receive. A government, a real government, a real country would have prosecuted the prime minister and drummed his ass out of office already. This is a real nation. Not yet. Election is four weeks away. Time to change that. Treasures of this blessed land we always neglect like I so and pan. I find it so strange the way we arrange. Still this nation don't know how to change. For some change it might just mean a new car. Change could mean less than a dollar. To most change have this nice scent we usually get from the government. You see, change is something we always say. But every time we change things, we may be same way. Things keep getting worse and worse. So this is what I propose. Tell me this fella, Air Pepper. All your fine Helen Francis from a place. I want to meet this man. I need to talk to him. Because obviously we connected on some wavelength. We need to change the change. Let's change the change for a better nation. Change the change for all foundations. Change the change so that we could say that this nation here came from quite down there. I say change the change within the school systems. Stop changing ministers and change what we teach them. But things won't change despite all we do. The change doesn't start with you. mortgage up to date or the house pay off on the third house they live in large investments coming in and the future so bright they have to wear shades they find themselves in a jam something go awry somebody end up in an emergency a gun in the waist they in trouble and they look to themselves and they say but this is how the nation supposed to work and then they recognize the chain link of sadness that connects all of us listen to that again 
your factory. But things won't change despite all we do. If change doesn't stop, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our youth, we leave all the weight Cause in most leaders, we done a lost faith We're full of such greed, oh Father I plead Please Lord have some mercy on the seeds in, in leaders, we've lost faith, so much greed Listen to what this man right now, boy This man, I tell you this boy, hello on Francis, I need to meet him Cause the youth are trying their best But they're born in this place of lies and commerce So eventually, when things get heavy Chances are they might turn out just like we But you see change could put an end to all this foolishness And could break this chain link of sadness Change could help our leaders to grow And start preparing youths for tomorrow Don't see change as something timely And start seeing change as your duty To stop them from hurting one day Is we had to point the way don't see change as something timely. See change as your duty. For us to change where we go in some days, we are to point the way. When well, you're listening, don't wait for the emergency, the ambulance running late. We need, all we, well, you know who is we, we in casualty. Look him bleeding, look she heart air beating. Call somebody, you're texting, you're WhatsApping. It's public holiday, everybody down the island. People buy down, the phone are working. For some reason, they tell you, your account suspended, you're in trouble, the ambulance running late, the pulse fading, gun in your waist, gun in your face, you get bounced on the side of the road and fight want to happen, you break down outside the bitum and all of a sudden you're in total fear. Why? Because the entire country broken, there's a disconnect between your comfort zone and the masses below you and the day you run into that, you're going to be asking yourself, how did this become Trinidad and Tobago? It became Trinidad and Tobago when you weren't looking and wasn't taking responsibility for our democracy and allowed people to feed on the treasury and make a total mockery of this country. So change the change for better transparency. Change the change for better economy. Change the change so no man one day go take me money and just fly away and say. For young Calypsonians and stop saying culture is in good hands. But things won't change despite all we do. If change doesn't start with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning is the next time we get together. Come and walk with me. Come and spend a day with me. Come and spend a day with me and Felicia Holder and Christoph Samuel and the rest of the team that you're coming to know. Come and walk with the Progressive Empowerment Party family. But come and spend a day with us. Come and walk about. Come and offer your suggestions, your ideas. Come and have a conversation. We have, this is a conversation that we want to have with the entire nation. Our objective is one people under one flag. If you think that this country deserves saving, if you think that this country is where you want to, to, to live the rest of your life, if you want, I just get in something. Yeah. If you want a better country, Tuesday morning, meet me, Stanmore Avenue. I will be meeting at Stanmore Avenue from 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning and we're leaving from there to go Barataria. If you're coming from the east and you want to say, well, we will link up wherever is the spot that you're parking, no problem. Text me, 6822110. Which other politician is giving you the cell, cell phone number? People will be WhatsApping me and texting me all kind of nonsense all day. Try and stop that now. Let me save it for real communication. But if you want to come and you're coming from east or central or south and you want to link up with us, you don't want to come into Port of Spain and then go back there, no problem. Message me, message us on Facebook, peptrendbago at gmail.com. You can message any of the other members, the whole team coming out, and you will see these, these overnight celebrities. You'll see them in person. We have a nice mic microphone car. We play a little music. When it's done, we might stop by a bar and fire too. You never know. 
Come and be a part of the growing orange family, the orange army, the orange revolution, the orange tsunami, bringing change to two districts in local government, getting us ready to save Trinidad and Tobago. If you want a better country, you have to stand up for your democracy. We meet 1030, 19 Stanmore Avenue, Tuesday morning. Come out in your numbers. I will see you then. Stay safe, children and the